One Health, One Medicine is essentially um, an initiative brought together by medical students and veterinary students and veterinarians and human doctors where they come together and do some community outreach to kind of bring forward the concepts of preventative health care for both people and their pets in one combined effort to really get as much information out to the communities when possible. Actually, we're able to go up to Sauteras on the north end of the island with a group of veterinary students and faculty and we were able to essentially advertise a free health clinic where people could bring their animals both large and small animals um, to have free exams done by the students with veterinary supervision free preventative health care so the dogs and cats were able to receive vaccines deworming the goats were able to receive vaccines and deworming um, and we're able to basically counsel people and educate them on how best to care for their pets. And it was really nice that we were able to do it in South Harris because it's pretty far north and it's pretty difficult for most of those people to reach us down on the south end of the island. It's actually a really cool setup. The students are able to break up into groups of two or three people and essentially they get to practice taking a history from an owner. Um, they get to talk to the owner and educate them about diseases in the area and things we're concerned about. They talk to them about uh, preventative pet care and then they actually perform a full physical exam by themselves. Uh, they then formulate any sort of problem list uh, based on the abnormal findings and if the animal's healthy then they're able to administer vaccines and deworming and then the clients get to um, go home with packets and information to read on. So the students are essentially acting as the doctor or the veterinarian that whole time under our supervision as really good clinical practice. They essentially get to put out in their hands what they learn in the classroom. We got a laceration uh, between oh. digits two and three. Probably just did one of the doctors have a look? Yeah, Dr. Marcia did. Okay, cool. She recommended cleaning it with chlorhexidine solution. we go out and we pick up dogs to be spayed and neutered by the fifth term veterinary students. This weekend we decided to join in on the clinic up in Saw Terrors and we were able to pick up 16 females to be spayed. So after they were vaccinated, take them back to the kennel here at school and the fifth term students will spay them this week and then they'll be dropped back off at their home. generally contribute to the SG community as well as the community hopefully on the island by offering education, uh, outreach opportunities and uh, fundraising events to help raise money for animals in need whether that's at uh, local stables, at the GSPCA and at local vaccine clinics. So this last weekend we went out to the veterinary public health vaccine clinic up at Soter and we walked around and handed out pamphlets to talk about the risks of rabies, especially in the community, as up north it is a higher risk area for rabies on the island. donkeys then we would happily have seen them too um, but it was essentially for the people of Sauters that had large animals to come have their animals checked out by veterinary students primarily from the large animal society um, assessed and then dewormed using the financial scoring system so that gave the students a chance to practice using the financial cards and also a little bit of client communication um, 
informing owners of how they can tell when their their small ruminants specifically need to be dewormed. Uh, we also offered rabies and tetanus toxoid vaccines as well.